All new tonight. Take a look at this. This big boy isn't directing traffic. He's owning the streets. This alligator is uh, crossing on Bush Street in Immokalee. A Wink News viewer sent us this video and the night beats Haley Zarconi joins us now live from the neighborhood and Haley. It's a sight to see, but neighbors say they are taking this seriously. They're on high alert. Yeah, Russ, neighbors here are worried about their small dogs and children, but when we came out here today in search of the skater, all that we found was this croc. Now, on a more serious note, where I am right now is where the skater was perusing through this neighborhood just hours ago. Take a look. Fridays in Florida are for gators. Look at what, look at what came up this morning. Magda Avalos saw this on her way from the school car line. I don't have the best vision. I have astigmatism, so I saw something on the road and it's trash day, so I thought it was probably just trash. Well, no, I started seeing it walk and it, it was a gator. And it wasn't just on any road. This scaly scoundrel was crossing her neighborhood road. Only a flood. It's scary because a lot of people have their dogs and they walk them. You start to wonder, what should you do if you see a gator? Well, the first thing you should do if you see an alligator um, is just give it space. These animals are big. They are carnivores, uh, but they're really only going to be a danger to you if you are in their space. Look at that huge sucker. Oh, my gosh. The video doesn't know just as it. That thing was huge. The face alone was like this big. I mean, it. It was, it was, to me, it was big. Let's say you are in the gator space and aren't protected by your truck. Then what? I've heard, you know, go zigzag. I've heard climb up a tree and that. Um, and it's really, it's whatever situation you're in. They, the gators, um, they can be super strong, super fast for short bursts of speed, usually in a straight line. We all know it's mating season, so people should expect to see them popping up more. If you don't show that you have nothing to offer to the gator, they're not going to bother you. Um, yes, they're going to walk through your areas from time to time because we took theirs. They have nowhere else to go. Now, I'm not privy to the idea that this gator could be nearby, but living in Florida, that just comes with the terrain. Ranger Rob says you should only report a gator to local authorities if it is a nuisance or seems a little too comfortable around humans. On the night beat, Haley Zarconi, Wink News.